Unless you've been vacationing on top of Mount Rainier or have been without electricity for the past two weeks, you've probably heard of Google Chrome. Google Chrome is the new entry into the browser wars and I'm going to officially declare today that the browser wars are in full motion and the players are of course Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox and now Google Chrome. I'm going to give you the dime tour of Google Chrome today so let's get started. The first thing you'll notice about Google Chrome is that it is fast, very very fast. In fact by the time you double click on the icon you can pretty much blink and the Google Chrome browser will be there. It's definitely a very quick browser. By default, the first thing you're going to see is the most recently used websites that you've visited, as well as some new bookmarks that you may have made, and a place for you to search your existing history. It's a pretty bare bones browser. There's no file edit view menu at the top, so it maximizes your viewing of the web. You start out by clicking on a site that you want to return to, or you can go to one of your bookmarks or of course you can use the super bar, as this is dubbed, to search for different websites. So if I want to search for Sarah Palin, it comes up and shows me an immediate search for Sarah Palin. So the new super bar up here doubles as both an address bar and a search bar. And the nice thing about the search bar is it also searches your history instantly. So here was a website I was on the other day, iPhone Hacks. All I had to do was type a few characters in and immediately brought me to that particular website. Another feature being held by the new Google Chrome browser is the ability to make web applications almost act like an application on your desktop. And the way this happens is if I go to a Web 2.0 application, I'm heading into Picnic right now. Picnic is an online photo editing software. To make any online application an icon, on my desktop, all I need to do is click the little piece of paper over here on the right hand side of the super bar and then click create application shortcut. And when I do that, it asks me, do I want the shortcut to be on the desktop, start menu, the quick launch bar, or all of the above? I'll just put it on the desktop for now. Now I have an icon that looks just like any other application icon on my desktop. When I double click on that icon, that web application pops up in its own window and it looks just like any other application window on your computer. I don't have an address bar, I don't have any bookmarks, nothing that looks like a browser is there except that I know that I'm on a website. That's not a unique feature to the browser world because Mozilla has a function called Mozilla Prism that is using the same kind of technologies of blurring the lines between an online application and an actual installed application by using what's called Mozilla Prism on the Linux platform. Like all good browsers today, Google Chrome includes tabs. So by default, if I'm here and I'm looking at one website in the first tab, I can click the plus sign up here at the top, instantly get a new tab. It also gives me the choice to get to one of the other websites I've been recently visiting, or again, if I open a new tab, I can simply do a search, or I can click a new tab and open up one of my existing bookmarks. Not only does Google Chrome start fast, but it also works fast for your browsing because they've revamped JavaScript, which is a programming language that allows you to interact with websites, and they've optimized it for Chrome. So overall, my thoughts on Chrome are that it works well, it's very fast, it is a beta product, so it's a first generation product, but there really isn't anything new and exciting overall that it's added above Firefox 3. Firefox 3 has raised the bar even farther. I think the Google Chrome is far outshines Internet Explorer and certainly is safer than Internet Explorer. And I think where Google Chrome may find its niche is in folks who do not have an interest in customizing their browser and adding the add-ons and some of the tools that are available in Firefox, but they want just a simple, fast browser that works well. Google Chrome will fit that bill.